Huh, that's not my truck. Hey guys, Vince here from Auto Industria, and no, your eyes are not deceiving you. These two trucks are actually very similar, but also very different. What I have here for you is the Dongfang Rich 6 EV. Now you may be wondering, what's the similarity here? And over there in China, well, you'll know that Dongfang and Nissan have been partnered up for the last 20 years. That's why they share a lot of things, platforms, chassis, parts, all kinds of stuff shared across the board. And that's what we have here in the Dongfang Rich 6 EV. They've actually got a full lineup of different kinds of rich uh, pickup truck vehicles over in China. Many different grades, many different generations. This one, of course, is one of the most sophisticated because it is a full EV. It's being offered in the Philippine market by Diamond Auto Group EV Corporation. They're very known for their service. And now they're expanding into EV vehicles with the Rich 6 and a full lineup of different kinds of commercial vehicles. Yes, that's going to be their focus. They're focusing on electric mobility for businesses and the like. And this is one of their flagship models. So the Dongfang Rich 6 EV does share the platform with the D23 amongst many other things. But they put their own spin, especially with the design of the vehicle. Look at the front. You have all these blue accents because again, it is an EV. And also this very pronounced front grille. Actually, we can't really call it a front grille because there are no openings there. Now from the side, you can see that it is a double cab pickup truck, meaning four doors and then you have the rear bed. What you have also here, you have these bigger wheels with the blue accent right there. That's something very uh, striking with this vehicle as well as the chrome trim here with the blue accent there. But a lot about the vehicle is very much familiar, at least for me. The doors, very, very similar to the one I drive every day. You have these uh, black side steps right there. Overall, it actually does look pretty striking when you see one of these on the road. From the back, you can see a lot of the differences with the Rich 6 EV. Of course, you do see a lot of badges. Rich 6 EV, Dongfang badge right there. And of course, ZNA. ZNA stands for Zhengzhou Nissan Auto, which is uh, another one of uh, Dongfang's uh, subsidiaries over in China. Of course, it's not just a mere cosmetic redesign. There are a lot of changes with the vehicle. What they do with the bed is actually quite interesting because they have a very sturdy liner all around the bed. We think it's gonna be pretty heavy duty because it's really stuck on there very, very well. It does come with this uh, sports bar right here. It's a very functional one, very handy because you've got tie down points all around, three on the right side, three on the other side. You have this bar here, you can lash stuff down too. And the measurements of this, it's about 59 inches uh, in terms of length and about 60.5 at the widest point right here. Now let's show the cargo capacity of the Rich 6 EV. Let's load it up, guys. We have our friendly neighborhood, Arnel, helping us out with loading up these drums of, well, anything you can imagine. Just imagine that it's water because it can take up to four of these 200 liter drums right there no problem that is something that's offered by the rich 6 ev and when you close it up it does close up pretty well now we have four drums there and arnel but not to worry we're not even at capacity yet when it comes to weight now these drums are actually empty so we can actually lift it up there but the dongfang rich 6 ev can handle up to 1200 kilos or 1.2 metric tons. The reason it can do that is when you look at the rear suspension of the vehicle, it's actually got leaf springs instead of coil springs, giving it the maximum payload capacity that you can expect from a pickup with the benefit of electric drive and also front and rear disc brakes. Konabahala, Janel. The back seat of the Rich 6 EV is a very familiar place for me because looking around, a lot of the things I really do recognize. The door handles, uh, very familiar. It doesn't have the lock-unlock uh, -lock tab here, which is kind of different. Power windows, the door cards, uh, the way the seats look, everything, very familiar to me. But some things here I really do like. Of course, it does have the seat back pockets there. I do have 
my phone right here. Uh, the floor, again, there's actually plenty of room for someone of my size, but really, it's the seat. Because the seat of this, the cushioning is very soft. It's very nice, especially on a long drive. Now, these seats are, are actually fixed, meaning you can't tilt this up, but there is still storage underneath, and it's accessible when you open a pair of doors, one there and one here. If you hop into a Rich 6 EV, expecting a very plain, a very basic interior, well, you will be very disappointed in a very good way because the interior of this is actually quite upscale considering where it's marketed towards, meaning towards corporations, towards B2B. So you look at the dashboard, you get a lot of screens. Uh, you get the upholstery here, which is actually very, very nice for this type of vehicle. It even has the contrast stitching there. You get cup holders, you get an automatic climate control unit, you get pockets all around that you can uh, put to use, definitely. So there are a lot of things going on with the Rich 6 EV that make it a cut above in terms of uh, the target market. And you even have a sliding center armrest. How cool is that? You get these round AC vents, uh, four of which there you can share amongst yourselves inside the vehicle because you do have automatic climate control there. And you can, of course, override it with the fan speed right there. And the AC of this, yeah, pretty cool on a hot summer-ish day like today. The steering wheel. Uh, like I mentioned, there is uh, controls on the steering wheel. I mean, it, it is a urethane steering wheel. It's perfectly round. It does have audio controls on the left, along with the Bluetooth and the next track, go back one track, that kind of thing. On the right side, you have cruise control, which is actually a nice feature to have, especially on a long drive, whether you're with your family or whether with your workmates in a vehicle like this. In front of it, you do have a digital driver display. And what's interesting about the digital driver display of this vehicle is that it has on the left, you do not have a tachometer. Instead, you have a power meter. You have a kilowatt meter right there from zero up to 180 kilowatts. I'm not sure we're going to reach that because the, the point here is to try to be efficient. You have here your uh, shifter indicator, your range right now, your maximum range. Uh, and then you have the capacity of the battery still available to you. Here in the middle is where it gets uh, quite interesting. For one, the ignition button, well, we can't really call it an ignition button. There's no engine to ignite, but it still says engine there, but really it's your start stop for the drive system of the vehicle. The screen here, this is where it's actually quite uh, nice because you expect something very, very basic like a standard uh, radio right there. No, they went many steps ahead. It's got a full digital touchscreen. Uh, you do have USB, you have Baidu car life, you have radio, you have Bluetooth uh, telephony and voice commands as well. But here, this is the one I like, the TPMS. That's something you don't expect in this kind of vehicle. Uh, it shows you the, press the tire pressures for all four corners. That is something that's going to be very interesting and very useful when you actually put load in the back of your Rich 6 EV. Below it, you have three USB ports and a 12 volt power outlet. So if you want to plug in your own charger or inverter or something, you can in this vehicle. Uh, below it, there is a compartment where I usually put my phone, very useful for this kind of thing. Uh, and then you have a very different control panel right here. Uh, for one, what I want to tell you is that this panel, these buttons control the screen. This is your drive uh, control selector panel thing. So you have a rotary uh, shifter dial, which you can select a PRND. So park, reverse, neutral, or drive. So it's very, very intuitive. Uh, it's really hard to miss. It doesn't have a, a lever like that. Uh, what you do have is an electronic parking brake. You do not have a lever handbrake, which is why the space here where the normal handbrake would go is really just a pocket. I mean, you can use it for your phone, maybe actually your wallet would easily fit in there depending on how big or how thick your wallet is. It should go in there. Uh, there are also two cup holders here and the button here for the AVM. But back to this panel. When we go to this panel, uh, you do have different drive modes. So you have eco drive mode or you have the sport drive mode. Let me turn that off. The sport drive modes. Of course, the sport drive mode gives you more power uh, with the electric drive system to give you the acceleration that you want. But what's interesting though is a couple buttons here on the right side. 
because this is something you don't really see with a lot of vehicles. For one, this is for the braking control, meaning how it recaptures energy when you lift off the throttle. You can make it more aggressive, you can reduce it. Uh, so keep in mind that when you use this uh, feature, it will more aggressively slow down the vehicle and regenerate the battery. That's very useful when you're going down, let's say from Baguio and you wanna recharge the batteries a little bit more, you can do that with this one. The other one is this. This button, you would think that's for an alarm or some kind of siren, but no. It's actually for the driving tone of the vehicle. When you press that, an indicator comes up here. Let me turn that on now. An indicator comes on here. It's a low speed driving tone. What that does is when you're driving around town and you want people to be able to hear you as you drive, I mean, EVs are very, very quiet. This one is no exception. It will play a little chime as you drive around uh, the city. So people, pedestrians, everyone can actually hear you as you come along. Let's take a look at what's under the hood. Haha, -ha, pretty good, right? Now, when we pop it open, there are two things that you notice right away. The first is that this one comes with hood dampers. Why doesn't my truck come with hood dampers? Second, we can't really call this an engine bay because one, it's an EV, and two, we also can't call it an engine bay because there's no motor or engine or anything in it other than the charger. So we can kind of call it the charging bay. What you have here are the electronics of the vehicle. The battery is underneath and the motor is actually in the back on the rear axle. That's what makes us different. So this is basically a charging bay area storage something. So they have a framework going on under there. They have mount all kinds of electronics there to be able to house the charging uh, unit of this. And the charging ports are actually right here. It comes with two. One on that side and one on this side. So on this side, we have the fast charger. It's the DC fast charger right there. You hook it up there, it goes through there, goes to your battery, charges you up very, very quickly. On this side, you have the AC charger unit. And this is the kind that you can actually plug into your, let's say, SM, your nearby mall, your nearby commercial charging station to be able to charge your vehicle. The power of the EV drive system is rated for 120 kilowatt hours or 163 horsepower, 163 PS. In terms of torque, you have 420 Newton meters of torque available from the very beginning. That's the benefit of any kind of EV. This one, of course, is rear-wheel drive, and it's able to make it up through inclines of up to around 30%, which is impressive for any kind of truck, given that it's actually fully loaded when they came out with that rating. Now, when it comes to charging, well, you do it via these two ports. Uh, in the fast charging port, uh, Dong Fong says it's about three hours from zero to 100%. Of course, you're not gonna do 0% in an EV. That's not good. Uh, and for this one, for the AC charging, it's about 12 hours from zero to 100%. Again, you won't do 0% on an EV. You really shouldn't do that at all. But really, that's it for the engine bay slash charger bay of this vehicle. I really want these hood dampers. Mamaya ako kunin ko ngayon. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be chiming in the comments below asking about, hey, what's the range of the vehicle? Well, based on the brochure, they say it can do 350 kilometers on one full charge. But based on the testimony from their customers, meaning corporate customers like Meralco, Davao Light, Kalax, First Gen, and Movem, well, they're getting around 280 kilometers uh, on their daily drive for their fleet of vehicles. Now, 280, that may seem kind of low, but not really, considering that the way they use their vehicles, they really load it up and they really use it on their work on an everyday basis. That is a thing to keep in mind with a vehicle like this. So yes, this is a vehicle that's made to work hard for your business. That is the thing about the Rich 6 EV. It's the first pickup truck that is fully electric available in the Philippine market. Now, in terms of ownership costs, well, in terms of maintenance, you're gonna be spending 64% less compared to a similarly sized 
turbo diesel pickup truck with this vehicle. In terms of warranty, you've got a three-year, 100,000-kilometer warranty, bumper to bumper. You've also got a five-year, 200,000-kilometer warranty on those LIFEPO4 batteries that they're getting from CAT-L. That is something that's really interesting about this vehicle because Diamond Auto Group EV Corp is really standing by the Rich 6 EV for their customers. In terms of price, this retails for $2.765 million. You get the AC charger you can just plug into your home, and you also get the DC charger you can wire in to your business, giving you the versatility of both to be able to charge when you need it the most. If you want to know more about the Dongfang Rich 6 EV, visit their official website, their official Facebook page, or you can even drop by their showroom on Marcos Highway in Cainta. This is Vince of AutoEducia.com. Thank you for watching.